Hi everyone, it's the tiniest one back with another quick look for you. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new MSI X570S. The S means the, I'm gonna call it the S for refresh because essentially they've uh, got rid of the chipset heatsink fan. But it does mean we've had a whole new range of boards and this is one of the first ones I've had from MSI. So if you fancy a good look, don't forget to click like and all of that kind of stuff underneath, you know, hit the bell. All of, we, we love all that stuff. Now, inside the box itself, you do get a few SATA cables, but anything else really is this badge, which is flexible, they're not metal anymore which is a shame, but you do get your drivers on a USB stick. Although don't forget, they will be out of date, so you are gonna to need to keep updating them. But it does come with these stickers. Now, this part here goes up there on the heatsink, and you've obviously got a few options that you can use, but the, the theme here is pretty much matches my thoughts on the board itself. And it's one of the reasons why I've done a preview for you, because it's the first time in ages we've actually seen a bit of colour on the boards. It's almost old school, but that blue tinge does genuinely make me think about the American forces. So like the American Air Force or the American Navy or something, it's got that kind of old school blue kind of uniform vibe to it. Uh, and it, I think you could make an epic, epic themed rig around this, but it's also really nice that they're not just black or silver heat sinks. They are a bit blue and I don't even like blue, but it's a really nice touch. And it's something that you could just chuck it in a rig, but I'm the sort of guy that always thinks about kind of a themed build and wanting to make it a little bit more kind of personal. And I think if that was the kind of angle that you were going for, this is actually a really beautiful build, but a uh, board, but, Without me waffling on, well, we'll have a look around the board. So you've got an eight pin and a four pin power up at the top. And then you've got your CPU fan header just there. And then at the top, you have a normal uh, four pin RGB and then an addressable RGB. Get another couple of fan headers down the side. This one is marked as a uh, pump or a fan header, depending on how you want to use it. Then USB 3.2 Gen 2, six SATAs normal USB 3, you've got a uh, power LED thing down here. This is actually how I would light it up, but anyway, another USB 3, and then two internal USB 2s, two more fan headers, which is kind of nice, and then there are, again, another couple of, oh no, that's not RGB, sorry, I thought that was RGB, I can't actually see what it is. Let's have a zoom in, and you guys at home can tell me. It's weird the way they stood back. I was uh, getting all cross-eyed trying to look at it. Anyway, M.2 here, and you've got another M.2 here. There's no more hidden underneath the heatsink. It's a fairly lumpy heatsink, considering though. Big chunk of aluminium. But yeah, you do get an exposed M.2, and then you get one with a heatsink. So if you wanted a big meaty one, it's good that this one doesn't have the heatsink down here because it's not gonna be in the way of your graphics card. Um, Audio down here, Japanese capacitors. Around the back, no fan or anything in there. That is a solid aluminium MOSFET heatsink on uh, the back. Obviously the IO is attached. Then you've got a PS2 port. I've not seen one of those for a while. Uh, a couple of USB 2s, HDMI. Just remember if you use HDMI, that's only gonna work if you've got a, an APU. So like, I think it's the 5400G. Uh, and it'll only work with that. If you've got any of the other ones, they won't. Uh, and then you can see you've got one gig ethernet, 2.5 gig ethernet, and then you've got your uh, sound IO, USB-C. There's a lot on there. I have asked them for a breakdown about the uh, VRMs, because I didn't get any um, like, reviewer's guide or anything that came with this, which was a shame. But I think really for me, the point in this is you could make 
a beautiful build of this. Select your colours carefully. Um, I think you're probably going to end up with a lot of white and red going in. That's definitely where, the way I'd go with it anyway. But please let me know your thoughts underneath. Have a chat with me on Facebook if you've got thoughts about what you would do with a build on this because I'd really like your input. But for now at least, this is the tiniest one with a very, very brief overview of the MSI Mag X570S Torpedo Max. <laughs> it's too many names, isn't it? Uh, out.